What's up, guys? It's your boy, The Wolf. All right, so for those people who have been asking, um, I've got more of the little trifolds here of awesome, awesome information um, that you guys need to know. So before we get started, <clears throat> I want to thank everybody for coming and showing up to class today. Um, you guys all look fabulous. So uh, behind me here is the main site for James C. Lovett on YouTube. Now I'm also on Patreon now as well underneath James C. Lovett. Um, but for those people who've been asking how to get the either how to join the Wolf Pack, which has the you know the private area for additional information and all the other goodies, um, on the main page, if you go here, it's where it says you know on the right hand side join that's where you click the button and you can choose any of the levels you want because all the information is shared no matter what level you're on all right obviously I like it if it's a little higher but it doesn't have to be whatever you can afford is cool so but if you want to see the actual videos on there then that's where you come to here and your particular YouTube uh, app will update itself and show you membership areas okay so right there will be the membership area if you want to see some of the stuff we talk about you should also have the community button right there for everybody in general. But for the VIP people, um, the membership tab will show you all the videos and whatever else listed. All right, so other than that, don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe. Let's get going. All right, so this particular video is about criminal procedure. Now, these little trifolds here, I did one video on this before. I think it was constitutional law has all of this fabulous information on here guys oh yes so you can get yours by going to bar charts incorporated or look up quick study either one will take you to the website where you guys can buy them there's like two two different websites the parent company and then the company that actually makes these Either way, they both will either they both will have the same charts, or one will have more charts than the other. Either way, you're still good to go. So, <clears throat> so in looking at this, um, okay. So, criminal procedure for law. All right. So, what does it say here? Constitutional protections of accused persons. Okay. So, they basically break down all the different aspects, key cliff notes of main major things that you need to know. Um, as far as dealing with your just your status okay if you don't know you can't play the game how do you expect a rule if you don't know you know like you, you just have to so here they're talking about arrest search and seizure confessions right to counsel fair trial and guilty pleas double jeopardy appeal and error and evidence all right so um, <clears throat> right here it says the 14th amendment and its incorporation by the states so let's see uh, the Fourteenth Amendment provides that no state may deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Two, incorporation of the Fourteenth Amendment extends to the due process requirements provided under the Bill of Rights to the states. Incorporation debate. Okay, then it's got um, self-incrimination. You can't, so you can't do that. You um, freedom from unreasonable search and seizure. So it's actually going to give you the cases for those topics okay your right to a speedy trial is coffer versus north carolina uh right to confront witnesses pointer versus texas um right to an impartial jury this is huge right here because remember majority of the times your magistrate and your um lawyer are going to be all in the bar so how's that impartial so there's a there's a gem for you Boing. um Right, so okay, <clears throat> right to not be subjected to excessive bail, right to a grand jury indictment in felony cases, state and federal rules. Um, these procedures must not violate the USC United States United States Code. Um, wiretapping, blah blah blah. Okay, going. So let's see the next section. Uh, sources of criminal procedure law the United States Code USC okay specifically the Bill of Rights okay uh, originally enacted exclusively for the purpose of limiting the federal government ok 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. The next section goes, it says, overview of criminal proceedings. Probable cause for arrest. Prior to any arrest, police must have probable cause to believe that a crime, crime, has been committed and the suspect being arrested has committed that crime. Federal or misdemeanor arrests conducted in a suspect's home usually require a valid arrest warrant. Felony of a misdemeanor arrest made in the public place can be with or without a warrant. Misdemeanor arrests without a warrant can only be for offenses committed in the officer's presence. Okay. Uh, then goes to talk about the first appearance, your preliminary hearing. Okay, so here, first appearance, promptly following a custodial arrest within a maximum of 48 hours, the arrest E is taken for a hearing before a magistrate or judge and advised. Okay, so if that doesn't happen, guys, they just violated you. Okay, how many of you guys have been arrested and you need to go before a judge or, or magistrate or whatever? All right, that in itself right there. Um, that's what I'm saying, guys. These little, these is nothing but gems. I, I should cue in a whole bunch of little shiny things on this right now. Because, okay, the pretrial, the motion for discovery, um, motion for indictment. Let's see the next section. Uh, rights against unreasonable search and seizure. They break down just that one thing. Your rights against unreasonable searches and them seizing your property. So, like, did they take your car? This is going to tell you which cases have already been won. So, if you're going to take them to federal court and sue, you need this information right here so that you can say, well, according to uh, N MN versus Olson, um, blah, 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 and have your information right there. Um, reasonableness. <clears throat> uh, warrant requirement of the Fourth Amendment. Okay. Judicial doctrines, uh, standing, rationale behind, exclusionary rule. Um, then as, as we talked about before, the book Fruit of a Poisonous Tree, they talk about all the stuff in here. Let's see, let's pick out one or two. Uh, evidence brought in, if obtained from a source independent of the original, illegality okay failure to give a suspect the required Miranda warnings does not mandate suppression of the physical physical fruits of suspects coerced or involuntary confessions obtained in violation of due process cannot be used for any purpose or to impeach defendant if he or she uh, testifies All right, uh, then confessions. They talk about what they can and can't do if you've given a confession or are forcing you. Um, it's voluntariness, okay? Um, your Miranda rights. Protection based on the Fifth Amendment right to not incriminate oneself. The right to remain silent. An attorney will be provided without cost if suspect cannot afford one. Right to have the presence of an attorney. Did they give you that? Nope. It's a violation. These are all the little, they say, uh, uh, death by a thousand cuts. Okay, well, these cases right here are going to help you guys win in your situations. Custody, interrogation, invocation uh, of rights, limitations, effect of Miranda violations. Okay, so here. Deliberate police tactics of questioning first and Mirandizing after is an unconstitutional practice and mid-interrogation Miranda warning invalidates previous unwarned confession. Bam! There you guys go. I'm telling you guys, you guys got to get this. Uh, the Sixth Amendment, right to counsel. Did they deny you your counsel? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So guess what? Here's all the stuff you can use against them uh, when you take this to... Well, one, you can try to use this against them in their own courts. Um, but if it doesn't work, because like I said, they don't, they don't have to go by court rulings. 
in these lower courts. So that's when you might have to take them to federal court. Okay, Supreme Court. Go after them using this stuff. So that's it, guys. Not a terribly long video, but very powerful. So go get you one of those study sheets and study. All right, guys, it's the wolf. Um, I got a couple more to go through with you guys. So check out the next video. See you in two and two.